In today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to turn an anti-block into studio keyframes, make an amendment, and then turn it back into an anti-block. For this demonstration, I've got the 3D Universe Toon Mouse here, the little guy, and I've made myself an eye blink anti-block, and that's this one here. So if I hover over that, the little guy blinks his eyes. And it's a 50 frame anti-block, so that means for most of the time nothing is happening, but I'll drag it into here, position it to the front of the animate timeline, and that means if I play this back now, he'll just keep forever blinking his eyes. Now there is an option in Animate to display keyframes. We can get there by double-clicking the AniBlock and then double-clicking again. And that'll show me with these red bits and bobs here where the keyframes are. But we can't really do anything much to amend them or not that I've found out. So the easiest way that I've found to do this is to basically turn this whole AniBlock into regular keyframes on the timeline. And in order to do that, we don't touch the AniBlock at all. We have a look at that gray bar underneath it and right click and then we see this context menu that pops up and this first option is bake to studio keyframes and as soon as we click that we get a little context dialog and we say yes and that will do just that if we head over to the timeline we can now see that each of these little black triangles is now a keyframe and if I scroll over to about frame 40 or so I can see that the mouse in fact blinks that's important to remember how long the anti-block actually is. Currently we have 52 frames in total, frame 0 to 51. And if I head over back to animate, I can go ahead and click my anti-block and just click the trash can icon to delete it. Now what that studio seems to do if I head back to the timeline is that sometimes it shrinks the total play range to about 30 frames, which is the default. And that's of course not what we want. So be aware of that. If you all of a sudden don't see anything in your keyframes and that may be the reason. So now I'd like to make perhaps a change, perhaps around frame 25. I'd like for him to wiggle his ear a little bit. So let's have a look at that. Let's select the ear that's in the head and there's the left ear and there's the right ear. So I'll go with the left ear first, go to the rotate tool, and in order to affect just the wiggling, I'm gonna set a keyframe right here so that nothing happens until now. I'll also bring over my parameters tab, and then I'll go and move the playhead about three frames forward, and maybe just wiggle the ear to about here. Yeah, maybe 18 is good. Then I'll leave it for another three or four frames and I'll turn it back, move it another two or three frames, and then I'll set it back to zero. I'll just leave it here for the demonstration. You get the idea, you could do this for the other ear. And now if I play this whole animation back, I can see that not only does he blink his eyes, he also wiggles his ear a little bit. And that's kind of what I want. So now in order to turn my whole animation back into an anti block, I go and switch back to the animate timeline in which the playhead is positioned just at the same time as it was in the regular timeline, it doesn't matter where it is. The important thing to note here is that we already have a track selected. In my case, it's called the Toon Mouse. If that is not the case, and your animate timeline looks like this isn't gonna work. So you have to have at least one track here and you can create one with the plus icon. With that in place, you can right click on the empty space below the animate timeline here, and this time select create any block from studio keyframes. And when you do that, another dialog pops up in which you can set the options for creating this AniBlock. In my case, I want all of these things, including morphs and values, and then the rest is just the defaults and click done. And that will now create a brand new AniBlock down here that's currently unnamed, but it will now have all the keyframes that I've just put on the timeline in here. And now I can go ahead and save it as a brand new AniBlock and do with it whatever I please. And to do that, you right click on the AniBlock in question and say, save as new. Pick a location, give it a nice title, and then you're done. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip and have fun animating. Mm -hmm.